so today I'm going to give you 10 great tips on how to keep your hermit crabs alive. So stay tuned for more info. The first and one of the most important tips I have today is to give your hermit crabs deep substrate to bury in. You want at least 6 inches or 4 times the length of the hermit crab. That way when they go to molt, they have plenty of space. Tip 2 is to buy a thermometer and hydrometer for your crab habitat to keep them at the ideal temperature and humidity. They're pretty cheap and definitely worth it. Hermit crabs need humidity since they have gills instead of lungs. So, to keep my crab habitat humid, I use a spray bottle to just mist it every now and then. It's a lot cheaper and easier than some of the other options out there. Tip 4 is don't buy painted shells for your hermit crabs. They're really bad and even if the paint says it's non-toxic, it can still kill the crabs. So use natural shells instead. Tip 5 may come as a surprise to you, but don't buy hermit crab food. It doesn't give the crabs all the nutrition they need. Instead, you want to give your hermit crabs the four main food groups. Grains, protein, vegetables, and fruit. My crabs usually eat whatever I have laying around the house. However, if you want to learn more about what to feed your hermit crabs, I have a video for that, so be sure to check it out. Tip 6 is to give your hermit crabs both fresh and salt water. They need both in order to molt. You also want to make sure that you give your hermit crabs something to climb out of their water dish if they fall in, either a sponge or a plastic plant. Tip 7 is don't put evergreen or metal in your crab habitat. Both are harmful to the crabs and could kill them. You can still use other types of wood in the crab habitat, just make sure that you boil them first to make sure that they don't have any bacteria on them. Tip 8 is to give your hermit crabs friends. Despite their name, hermit crabs are very social and in the wild they live in colonies of up to 100. And if you keep them by themselves, they can get very lonely and depressed. So be sure to give them plenty of friends. Tip 9 is to leave your molting hermit crabs alone. The most you want to do for a molting hermit crab is put a bottle that's cut in half over the place they are. That way the other hermit crabs can't get to them. Alright, and now tip 10, which is our last tip for the day, is to leave your shy hermit crabs alone. If they want to hide back in their caves, in the dark, that's okay. Eventually they'll come out of their shells and be more social. Thanks for watching, I really hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did enjoy it, be sure to check out my channel and subscribe, and if you want to see more videos like this, leave a like.